Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the overview of apoptosis. So let's get started. You know when we talk about apoptosis we always talk about a phrase that's programmed cell death. If we elaborate this term we see it's the natural and deliberate biochemical process of the cell which leads to its death. So we say it's the molecular programming of the cell by which it programs itself through a series of pathways to mark its end. And always make sure to keep a difference between apoptosis and necrosis, as necrosis is a way too different from apoptosis, but the result is same always, that's the death of cell. Necrosis is a form of cell injury which results in the premature death of cells, and we can say it's not programmed like apoptosis. Apoptosis, on the other hand, is a part during an organism life cycle like in a developmental process as we see in the separation of fingers during the embryonic development. Take a look at this picture and see before and after apoptosis in the separation of fingers. As you can see in this picture before and after apoptosis, the separation of fingers or we can say digits. If apoptosis ceases to exist in any person, the result will be like a webbed hand and this condition is called syndactyly. As you can see in this picture, a child suffering from Apoptosis syndrome. And in this child, apoptosis is absent between the digits. Another function of apoptosis is the defense mechanism, in which during immune response, the apoptosis pathway comes into play. It kills cancerous cells, but not always. When apoptosis is completely suppressed in these cells, the cells remain undamaged and ever dividing. That's why we always say that in cancerous cells, the apoptosis is absent. Apoptosis also eliminates lethal and damaged cells. Now let's discuss about the steps how the cell is vanished by apoptosis. First of all, we see we have a normal cell, but when it receives apoptotic signals, either intracellular or extracellular, the first event is the cell shrinkage, where the cell shrinks down. Then after the cell, which is undergoing apoptosis shows membrane blebbing, where the plasma membrane protrudes out by intracellular pressure generated in the cytoplasm when the actin cortex undergoes ectomyosin contractions. Then after two major events occurs, first one is pyconesis and the other one is karyohexis. Pyconesis is the irreversible condensation of chromatin in the nucleus of a cell undergoing apoptosis. And this pyconesis is followed by Cryohexis, which is the destructive fragmentation of nucleus of a dying cell. And after that we see there is a formation of apoptotic bodies. These bodies are vesicle containing parts of a dying cell. And finally there is fragmentation and lysis of apoptotic bodies which marks the end of the cell. So this was a brief overview of apoptosis. In the next video its mechanism will be discussed in detail. Till now this is all about or we have a process. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.